From out of the West comes Red Rider, America's famous fighting cowboy. <laughs> Going to be done in Devil's Hole, so prod that pony. You fetch him, Red Rider. Get him up, Papoose. Get him up. Come on, Thunder. Hit their trail. The Adventures of Red Rider. Having once more concluded his last thrilling adventure in a blaze of glory, Red Rider, after his triumphant fight for law and order over in Tumbleweed, has returned to Painted Valley Ranch for a well-deserved rest. The fighting cowboy and his inseparable pal, Little Beaver, have been sent to the little town of Devil's Hole by the Duchess to pick up the payroll from the bank. They're now riding into the town's main street. Well, Little Beaver, how does it feel to be back in Devil's Hole again? <laughs> We think I'm funny, Red Rider. Sun plenty high in sky, but no see him anybody in street. Say, that's right. Wonder where everybody is. Oh, look him. See him crowd way down the street? Something's wrong, little beaver. That crowd's storming the bank. Let's ride. Oh, get him up, Papoose. Get. Lift those hoofs, Thunder. Come on, Thunder. at this hitching rack, little beaver. I'll see what this mob is howling about. Get in here, Robert. Put the door down. Now, wait a minute, men. Now, what's going on here? Wilson's trying to make us believe his bank was robbed last night. Says the safe was blown up and all the cash taken away. But me, I don't believe it. Now, hold on, men. What makes you think Wilson's lying? Because we know he's trying to cover up his own shortage by making it seem That's like... That's not true, Mr. Kirby. You know my father wouldn't do any such thing. Uh, it's easy enough for you to say that, Miss June. But if your father wasn't short, why did he go to Elkhorn last week trying to borrow $50,000 from the state bank? My father wanted that money to raise the cash surplus of his bank, just so he wouldn't have to foreclose on a lot of those ranchers who've had a hard time through the drought. That's a likely story. Now, wait a minute, Kirby. Inciting the crowd to violence isn't getting anyone anything, is it? Easy enough for you to talk, Ryder. But I had over $25,000 in his bank and if I... If there's any reason to suspect that Wilson robbed his own bank, that's a matter for the sheriff, not us. Maybe. But seeing Sheriff Bailey's out of town, I don't aim to let that scoundrel skip out of our hands. Oh, let's push Come you. on, get in there. Now hold it, everybody. What do you mean by throwing lead at us, Ryder? I shot over your heads to bring you men to your senses. And the first man who tries to bust into this bank to lay hands on Wilson's going to stop hot lead. Why don't you try and relax, Mr. Wilson? Uh, relax? How can I? Every time I look out of these windows and see those grim faces with their eyes glued right on this bank, I... Father, there's nothing to worry about while Mr. Ryder's here. Oh, I'm not concerned about myself. But with that money stolen and the bank closed, it means this whole community is liable to turn into a ghost town. A ghost town? Uh, me no like them. And neither do we, little beaver. But what Mr. Wilson says is true. Unless the stolen money is recovered, everyone in the district will be practically ruined. Father, could Mr. Kirby possibly have had anything to do with this robbery? Kirby? What makes you think of him? Well, he seemed mighty anxious to stir the crowd against you, Mr. Wilson. Well, I can understand that. After all, Kirby was one of my biggest depositors. I still can't understand why Kirby was so eager to turn that mob against you. Unless he had something to gain by it. Oh, this is preposterous, Ryder. Why, that robbery means a $25,000 loss to Kirby. Yes, but if Kirby happened to be the man who got the $80,000 out of this safe, you wouldn't actually call him losers, would you? That's a mighty grave accusation to make, Ryder. It's only a supposition, Mr. Wilson. I'm not accusing Kirby of anything. At least, not yet. Oh, look him, Kirby. Him stir him up crowd again. 
Yep. That's right, little beaver. I sure would like to know why Kirby's so determined to turn that crowd against you, Mr. Wilson. They're starting to march this way. Oh, you betcha. But men now no make them big trouble like before. Those men are much too quiet. That's when they're dangerous. Oh, what you do them now, Red Rider? You sneak out through the back door, little beaver. Bring back our two horses and an extra one for Mr. Wilson. You betcha. Well, what about my daughter, Ryder? I'm sure she'll be all right. Don't you worry about me, Dad. Well, where are we going, Ryder? I'm taking you to Pentavelli Ranch till this mob gets a chance to cool down. After that... Open up that door! Open up that door, Mr. Wilson! I wouldn't try that if I were you, man. Now, listen, Ryder. We've come to take that swindling banker... And nobody's going to stop us this time. If you try it, there's going to be lead flying, Kirby. Man, Ryder's trying to seal that crook. That makes him the same kind of a mangy coyote like Wilson. Come on, get a batter. Are you open that door or do we smash it in? I'll drill the first man who steps into this room. All right, man, get that battering ram. Who's that Ryder? We got him horses in the alley back of bank. Fine. Come on, Mr. Wilson, through the back door. Keep tabs on Kirby. Mr. Back door, Miss June. You can't make. I said clear that door, you little. Oh, oh. wipe my hand, will you? Here. Oh. All right, come on. There they go, right away down the alley. Bring them down. Okay. Ah, hold your lead. It's too late, men. They've turned the corner. It's all the girl's fault. It's a good thing you ain't a man. It's too bad I'm not. Maybe I could have shot a couple of you. Yeah. Well, ma'am, neither your father nor Ryder better show their faces around this town again. That's all I got to say. Maybe you better not show your face around here when Red Ryder comes back. Yeah? Well, maybe he isn't coming back. What's the matter, Kirby? Red Rider's taking Wilson out of town. Huh? Oh, what do we do now? You and Dirk take the shortcut to Painted Valley Ranch. That's most likely where Ryder's taking him. In what? Drill that banker. We can't afford to have him around. He might be able to prove the safe was robbed. But what about Ryder? Uh, just as soon you'd get him, too. Now, get going. <laughs> Howdy, Sheriff. Mr. Wilson, little uh, beaver. I'm sure glad we ran into you. Yeah? What's the trouble, Ryder? Somebody robbed the bank, and folks in Devil's Hole are accusing Mr. Wilson here. Yeah, if it hadn't been for Ryder, heaven knows I might not even be alive now. Jiminy, was it really that bad? Yeah, you betcha. Mob plenty mad. Want him tear Mr. Wilson in pieces. But now that we've found you, Sheriff, we can go back and straighten things out. Hold on there, Ryder. Maybe he's j I just as soon you didn't go back with us. If they're still on the prod... They're apt to think you come back to laugh in their faces. All right, then. I'll turn Wilson over to you, Sheriff. He can give you all the details while you're hitting the trail. Thanks again, Red. Well, shall we get started, Sheriff? Let's go. So long, Ryder. Well, little beaver... I hope that mob's cooled down by the time Sheriff Bailey brings Mr. Wilson back to Devil's Hole. Oh, you fetch him, Red Rider. Sheriff, get him hand filled up. Oh, me hear him shots, Red Rider. Yes, I hear him too. I wonder if it could be that crowd. Maybe they ran in behind us and meet him, Sheriff, and Mr. Wilson going back. It's possible. We'd better double back and see what the shooting is about. Come on, little beaver. You fetch him. Ride him, pony. Stir him up, Papoose. Stretch him out, Thunder. Over there, by that grove of oak trees. Oh, oh, now me see him. Horse without him, rider. It's the sheriff's horse. Oh, 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 Papoose. Look him. Go we'll see him, Sheriff, near bush. Him look him like dead. It's the sheriff, all right. And he is dead. Oh, you think him crowd shoot him, Sheriff? I don't think so, little beaver. They wouldn't dare do anything like that. Besides, the sheriff gun is still in his holster. I'll take a look at his shooting iron just to make sure... Yes, see that gun? He didn't even fire a single shot. Somebody's drilled him before he even had a chance to know what happened. Mm, then you think of Mr. Wilson do him? No, no, I don't know what to think. Maybe Kirby, him right when he say a banker rob him safe. I don't believe that until I get proof of it. What we do him now? 
Well, bring the sheriff's horse over here. We'll tie the sheriff on and take him back to town. Hey, Kirby. What's the matter, Dirk? Me and Colin didn't get Wilson. Why, you blundering fools. What happened? Well, by the time we got to the Oak Grove, the banker was riding back to town, but he had the sheriff with him. The sheriff? Yep. Ryder must have met that star packer on the trail and turned Wilson into his mitts. Well, why didn't you shoot the both of them? Well, I got the sheriff all right, but Dirk missed Wilson. The banker took to the woods. Why, you stupid nitwits, now we'll... Hey. Hey, wait a minute. You say Wilson took to the woods and the sheriff's done for? Anybody see you besides Wilson? Nope, he was the only one. <laughs> well, well, and I reckon there ain't much to worry about. That banker don't dare come back now. Why not, boss? Because he'd have a mighty hard time trying to prove he didn't kill the sheriff. <laughs> Ryder and the engine kid riding back into town. Yeah, that looks like they the got sheriff's a body horse, folks. That lead horse. Yes, it looks like the sheriff's horse. Sure folks. does, Kirby. It is the sheriff's horse, folks, and Bailey's dead. Oh, what? Heaven, Get off your horse and tell us who plugged him, Ryder. That's what I'd like to know, Kirby. Here, little beaver, take Thunder to the hitching rack. Mr. Ryder, what's happened? Where's my father? Well, the last we saw of Miss Joan, little beaver and I turned him over to the sheriff, and they were riding back to town. Are you trying to tell us you don't know who shot the lawman, Ryder? My father wouldn't commit murder. I know he wouldn't. He couldn't. No. Well, if he didn't do it, who else could have? What do you think, folks? Yeah, yeah, must have. Now, wait a minute. There's no proof that Wilson shot the sheriff. It's proof enough for us, Ryder. Come Maybe on. I've got just about enough of you trying to stir up trouble. And, and we've I... had about enough of you trying to protect that crooked banker, Ryder. Now, I'm giving you ten seconds to clear out of town you or else... Red Ryder. Kirby got him gun. That's right, Injun. I've got my gun on him. Get started, Ryder, before my trigger fingers start itching. It'll take more than your gun to make me move, Kirby, because I still have... Move! Fool, you kick a gun out of his hand, Red Ryder. Yes, sir, now, Kirby, I aim to cool off that hot head of yours with this. No! Oh, Why, you... Make him haymaker, Red Ryder! I'll get you, Ryder! No! you see! And one more, Red Ryder! No! Now, Kirby, I hope this will give you a good chance to cool off. All right, Ryder. But beating up on me still don't explain to them folks why you're standing up for that crooked banker killing our sheriff. That's right. What do you got to say about that, Ryder? I'm going to find out who killed Sheriff Bailey. Until you do, Ryder, maybe you'd better mind your own business. Otherwise, you're apt to stop hot lead. Uh, crowd plenty angry, Red Ryder. Yeah. I only wish I knew where to get a hold of Mr. Wilson. Surely you don't think my father did it, do you, Mr. Ryder? Nope. Matter of fact, I've got a pretty strong hunch Kirby's at the bottom of this whole thing. But before we can clear your father, we've got to prove it. We return to the adventures of Red Rider in just a moment. left Red Rider in a quandary, wondering how he can clear Banker Wilson from being unjustly accused of murdering Sheriff Bailey. Having as yet not found the answer to the momentous dilemma facing him, Red Rider is entering the banker's house. Howdy, Miss June. Any news of your father? No, not a word. What about Little Beaver? No word from him either. I reckon he's still in the hills trying to pick up your father's trail. Why well, do you think there's a chance he can find him? Well, there's no better scout than Little Beaver around this neck of the woods. If he can't trail your father, no one can. What about Kirby? He hasn't tipped his hand as yet, but I understand he's called a mass meeting. A meeting? About what? Something about helping the folks out of their financial trouble while the bank's closed. But how can Kirby or anybody else do that? That's just what I aim to find out. I'll let you and me go to town hall and tend that meeting, Miss June. I've got a hunch we're going to learn something we ought to know. <laughs> Oh, 
folks, I know most of you here in this town hall are in bad shape since that crooked banker has disappeared with our money. Might even say this whole community is facing ruination. Unless we do something or somebody helps us get some money into circulation. Well, I'm for it, but how do you propose to do that, mister? Uh, we got a man amongst us who's willing to help us out. Who's the man? That man's Mr. Kirby. One of our leading citizens, Kirby. Tell the folks what you're aiming to do for them. Folks, this whole district can't keep going unless we got a bank so people will be able to resume business as usual. What I propose to do is open up a new bank. How do you operate a bank without cash, Kirby? I've got some cash, Ryder. Not much, but enough to open up a small bank and help the folks out. Didn't you say you'd lost over $25,000 when Wilson's bank was robbed? That's right, I did. But I don't carry all my eggs in one basket, Ryder. I got enough money on deposit in the Alcorn Bank so I can give the folks small loans that'll tide them over. Are you sure you mean tide them over or under? Now, if you're trying to tell the folks I'll be wanting to swindle them out of anything, I'll... You took the words right out of my mouth, Kirby. Well, I reckon them folks can afford to trust me a lot more than they trusted your banker, friend Wilson. Yeah. Why don't you get out of here, Ryder? Yeah. Go and bring back Wilson, then maybe we'll listen to you. Yeah, that's what Come I on, say. Get out oh, of here. Come on, Mr. Ryder. We better go before the crowd turns on us. Please. Miss June, do you happen to know those two Jaspers who were heckling me in town hall? No, no, I don't, Mr. Ryder. Why? The way they stuck up for Kirby, they must be friends of his. Oh, no doubt about that. Well, here are our horses. I reckon we... Look, here's a little beaver riding in. We find him, Mr. Wilson. Oh. Where is he, little beaver? Uh, him hiding in woods up him hill. Is he all right? Oh, uh, you betcha. Can we go to him at once? Wait a minute, Miss June. You'd better stay here and keep an eye on our friend Kirby. Come on, little beaver, let's ride. Stir him up, fat boys. Get him up. Come on, boy. Get going, thunder. You must believe me, Ryder. I swear I didn't kill the sheriff. I believe you, Mr. Wilson. But haven't you any idea as to who those two men could be? Oh, not the slightest. I never saw them in my life. Would you recognize them? Well, I believe I could. Well, even so, that wouldn't be helping much right now. Without a witness, it would only be your word against theirs. Oh, me think them. If you find them two men, you have a men who rob them bank. But proving it is another thing. Where do you think Kirby and his new bank fits into this? Well, that part's obvious. If Kirby had anything to do with the robbery, he'd want you out of the way for fear you might be able to prove the bank was robbed. But why should he send a, a couple of men to kill the sheriff? Maybe that was only an accident. The slug that killed Bailey must have been meant for you. Oh, why you no take a Mr. Wilson back to Devil's Hole? He'll maybe show him us men who kill him sheriff. It's too early for that, little beaver. Recovering the money is just as important as catching the men who stole it. One wrong move and we may never get our hands on the money. And unless that money is recovered, the whole community will be wiped out. And what do you intend doing now, Ryder? Don't know for sure till we get back from Elkhorn. Oh, we going to Elkhorn? Right now. You stay put right here in this cabin, Mr. Wilson. Little Beaver and I'll be stopping on our way back. And I might have some good news. Let's go, Little Beaver. <laughs> Hey, hello, Red Rider. Come in, come in. Howdy, Mr. Bixby. Hey, sit down, Rider. What brings you to Alcorn? Come to deposit some money in my bank? Nope, I just dropped in to see if you could help me out. Surely, Red, yes. How much would you like to borrow? Not a nickel. All I'm after is a bit of information. What kind of information? Well, I'd like to find out something about one of your depositors. Well, uh, this is rather irregular, Red, but... Uh... Got a depositor named Kirby? Rancher from up Devil's Hole Way? Uh, Kirby, yes. You, uh... You couldn't tell me how much money he has, could you? Uh, yes, he's got a little over $2,000. Made any large withdrawal lately? Nope, hasn't touched his account for over a year. Thanks, Mr. Bixby. Well, I guess I'll run along and... Say, come to think of it, can I take you up on that loan you offered? It'll be a pleasure. How much do you need? Oh, a thousand ought to do me and $10 bills, if it's all the same to you. <laughs> Sounds like you're going on a gambling spree, Red. Well, the way I aim to use this money, I reckon you could call it gambling, Mr. Bixby. I'm going to gamble. It catches me some bank robbers. But first, I have to call on the state marshal. Mr. Wilson? Yes, Mr. 
Wilson, meet Mr. Carter, the state marshal. Yeah, how do you do? Carter dug up an old reward poster which we brought back from Elkhorn. Well, Red says he looks like one of Kirby's friends. The poster reads, wanted for bank robbery. I'd like you to have a good look at the picture. Have you ever seen the face before? What? Why, that's one of the two men who shot the sheriff. Oh, yippee! Now we get a marshal to put him in jail. Not yet, Little Beaver. We know who's done the dirty work, but we still have to get the evidence. We don't dare tip a hand off for fear they'll be scamping away with that bank money. What's next, Ryder? We'll sneak you into town after dark, Mr. Wilson, so you can dig up some of those serial numbers. In the morning, I'll be seeing Mr. Kirby and his two pals in that new bank of theirs. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dirk, how do you like being a banker? I got to hand it to you, Kirby. <laughs> Not bad, eh? <laughs> Lending them folks their own money. That's yeah. one of the books, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> and them so desperate for cash, now they'll be flocking in here to mortgage everything they own. Yeah, and by the end of the year, we ought to be owning this whole valley and the town to boot. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what we're going to do, Dirk. <laughs> uh, howdy, man. Oh, hello, Kellen. Well, are we all ready to open up for business? You said it. Just waiting for the first sucker to come in. <laughs> hey, look. Here comes that red rider cowpoke. Hey, he's crossing the street this way, Kirby. What makes you men so blame jumpy? Rider ain't got nothing on us. Howdy, men. Howdy, Rider. Bank open for business, Kirby? Why, sure, Rider. And after the way you spotted off the other day, you're about the last man I'd ever expect to see coming in here. Oh, I think you're going to see a lot of me, Kirby. Maybe a lot more than you care for. And you come for a loan? Not yet. Right now, all I came for is some change. I got a few $10 bills here I'd like to change for some large bills. How do you want it? Fifties or hundreds do? Sure, $100 bills will do. Yeah. There you are, Ryder. <laughs> come again. Maybe I won't have to. Hey, what are you inspecting them bills so close for? You afraid I slipped your counterfeit money? <laughs> nope, they're legal tenders, all right. They'd have to be, considering where they came from, Kirby. What are you driving at, Ryder? Just this, Kirby. Those bills you just gave me came from the vault in Wilson's bank. Are you trying to say I blew that vault? I'm saying it, Kirby. Yeah? Well, how are you going to prove it? By the serial numbers on these bills, which are the same as the numbers on the list Wilson gave to Boy, me. Why, you dirty... Hold it, Kirby. You too, Dirk. Colin, get those paws up. Right. Fast work, Red. Now you can put your bracelets on these mangy coyotes, Carter. This is the state marshal, Kirby, and he's going to... Look out, Carter! <laughs> I'll get you for this, Ryder. Collins, drop behind that counter and get Ryder from the rear. I'll do better than that. I'll drop the whole counter. I got him and got his gun, too. Yeah. But you didn't get my hand. Here, take this, Cullen. Go! Get away from him so I can shoot, sir. Well, get him away from me, Kirby. Here he is, coming your way. Oh, oh you fools. You knocked my gun out of reach. And now I'll knock your head off, Kirby. Oh, yeah. Great work. Uh, all right, Carter? Yeah, they're just grazed. Came to just when he was sucking Kirby. Well, now you can put your bracelets on them, and when Cullen and Kirby come to, we'll find out which one of them killed the sheriff. Yeah. Uh, seeing as you're already a wanted man, Dirk, I got a hunch you're the hombre who did plug the sheriff. Oh. Uh, how about it? Oh, you can't pin that on me. I didn't do it. No, but you were there, and that makes you an accessory to the crime. No, it, was, it wasn't me. It was Cullen fired that shot on the star packer. That'll be I, enough, I... Dirk. Oh. Thanks for the information. The marshal will be asking you to repeat that in front of a jury. Well, Red, I guess that about winds it up, doesn't it? I reckon so. Now we can turn back all that money to Mr. Wilson and let him reopen his bank. Yes, and I'd say the folks around here sure do owe you a vote of thanks, Ryder. <laughs> How's the banking business going, Mr. Wilson? First rate, Red Rider. Thanks to you. To me? Surely, Red. Well, if it hadn't been for you recovering that money, everybody in this valley would be wiped out by now. Yeah, and Father would probably be rotting in jail for the murder of that sheriff. Well, Kirby and those two Jaspers can't do any more harm now. Uh, you betcha them. No can do them nothing for 20 years. <laughs> That's right, Little Beaver. Well, I guess we'd better move on, Mr. Wilson. Goodbye, Miss June. You going away again? 
Yep, I heard folks around Roan River are having trouble and... And when Red Rider hear him trouble, him got him go. Well, so long, folks. Let's ride, little beaver. Get him up, Papoose. Get him. Come on, thunder. the next exciting episode of Red Rider. 